at the Willie G. Davidson PDC Center. Once you walk through those doors, you better shut it off. Hey, can I borrow some money? I just want to get a 135. <laughs> I think everybody would be surprised what springs we actually run in the race bike. And then we're going to be putting the blockhead exhaust on here, so surprise spoil too, guys. Harley Davidson parked at Judo Ave. That's the wife. Hi. Hi. She's my favorite. The original shed that the Davidsons and uh, Harley started in was like a couple blocks that way. It's really cool to just see how, how quickly racing can influence product development. Oh man, now it's a <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing, after you use your blockhead quick detailer, which I have right here, which I need to get assigned by the man, the myth, the legend, your bike is all gonna smell like it, so. You know another thing, this stuff is so awesome, and you go like this. Yeah, yeah actually, I forgot to, to put mine on this morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you want a clean bike and smell like you're in a Caribbean island, yeah, that's, that's it right there. <laughs> Great for the pits. <laughs> Oh, good. So, good. so good. I'm gonna drink it. I'm gonna add it to my coffee. What you got? It's a black and quick detail right there. All right, you guys ready? Let's do it. What up, my boy? Looks good, man. Thank you. I see you rocking with the best. There it is, right there. Of course. <laughs> Can I sit on it? Of course, go ahead. So, you this in your bag? Yeah. All right, we are all saddled up. John for Cycle Fanatics, Blockhead, Tiffany Renee, her husband, guys from Two Lane Life, Traveling Tall, and Mass Leading the Way. We're gonna be headed to the uh, PDC. Something special, something special we got for you guys. Then we also gotta get uh, uh, some footage for you guys of all the bikes later. Get to get these guys in cam later and go over the those dope wraps they got on their bikes. Really cool, man. It's so funny when you got all these YouTubers in their element, or our element, and all you see is a thousand cameras everywhere, and it's a good, good, good experience. <laughs> these guys are uh, a trip. Guys, really quick, can, yeah. can can you tell me about these wraps you have on your uh, on your bikes? Yeah, so in 2019, on the way to Sturgis, we put uh, some bigger stickers on the front of our fairings to say, yeah. you know, Sturgis or die kind of a thing. 2019. So in homage to what we're doing this uh, this week, we decided to wrap them. Homecoming, two lane life, yeah, LA, was, Milwaukee, Sturgis. It was freaking cool, man. Always a theme, man. <laughs> Always pretty cool. Any Easter eggs around here? Or it's just uh, little stuff here and there. No. Ah, <laughs> surprise, you surprise. Have to find them. <laughs> All right, so we're finally here. We're at the Willie G. Davidson PDC Center, the production development center. This is where all the crazy magic happens behind the scenes. This is uh, top secret stuff. So we're only here because John brought us here. Top secret. Top secret stuff. Once you walk through those no, doors, no, you better shut it off. No, not even the CIA is allowed in here. <laughs> <laughs>
clothing or something. This room here is amazing. This is where they kind of dial in all the sound on the bikes. They, uh, it was a nice presentation last year on this. So they all put the bike on there. And then you see right all around, there's microphones, literally. It's like a thousand microphones in here. Super soundproof room. And that's how they get that, that perfect tone. They're looking for the perfect, perfect sound out of each and every Holly Davidson in here. Pretty sick. They're not four and a quarter, no more of those. Now. Four and a half. The 121s start out. That's a nice design. Look at this, guys. Damn. Harley's coming out with aftermarket, man. Because, <laughs> damn. Because, what do you guys think about this chrome wheel on here? I think it looks pretty nice. I've been saying it for the past two years. Chrome's coming back. Where has chrome ever left? Hey, can I borrow some money? I just want to get a 135. <laughs> Last year at Daytona, mm -hmm. we were able to ride one of the bikes with this. So if you look at motorcycle vibrations, right? That look, sound, and feel that Brad talked about, this is where we're starting to test that, right? When you're thinking about exhaust note, that's where we're starting to test that. And of course, Harley-Davidson audio and even our stock audio systems, they're tested in this state-of-the-art facility. So this is, this is a bucket list item for a lot of customers, right? Um, it took me nine years to get into this lab, right? Special, special people in this room right now. Consider yourself like an insider, which is great. Um, I do wanna kinda give a quick rundown as to what we're gonna cover today. So we're gonna start out with Harley-Davidson Audio powered by Rockford Fosgate. We're gonna go through a quick background, some history, what we did in the new 24 models, do a listening session. Then once we're done with that, we're gonna pivot. We're gonna talk about some Screaming Eagle performance products, some of the new products that we just launched for our center cooled models. And then uh, we're gonna get out on the open road and, and fire them up, right? So um, these products that you'll see here today are for the 2023 and 2024 center cooled touring models. Um, they're all brand new. We either launched them last July or some of the products we launched um, very recently being the 131 kits and the 135 kits. I want to kind of go over some of the what we call the four pillars of Screaming Eagle and, and some of the things that we think take our product to the next level. Um, the first pillar that I, I want to talk about is kind of reducing complexity and that becomes our stage kit process, right? Performance is super complex, right? Understanding what cam should I, should I run? What's the optimal compression ratio for my build, right? We, we boil it down. We give customer piecemeal products with stages, right? When it comes to stage one, your air cleaner, your tuner, your exhaust, your stage two, if you wanna increase the performance, bang for the buck upgrade with our new 511 stage two camshaft. And then we have a stage four kit in front of you right there. So making performance easy, right? We're, we have the pros here. We have the testing facilities as you can see. We're designing these things to make sure that the customers don't have to do their homework, right? We're doing it for them. The next thing I wanna talk about is fitment. So Chuck, about, Chuck, Chuck talked about kind of being a part of the process from the OE side to now Screaming Eagle, right? Our Screaming Eagle team sits with our OE powertrain folks, right? They're having the conversation. So these products that you see here, these have been in development for a very, very long time, years upon years, right? As changes are made on the OE side, these guys know exactly what the changes are and they're adapting for those changes real time. Right, we, we love go fast products, so does the OE team, and we're constantly looking at each other's product life cycle plans and making sure that we're benefiting both arms of the division. Warranty and emissions compliance is very important, right? Um, I think it's the world that we live in. When, a war when you think about warranty, we have to put our name behind it, right? Harley Davidson Motor Company. And with these products that you see in front of you, it's a two year factory warranty when installed on a brand new vehicle, right? It's SW to R onto that specific vehicle. It follows the life uh, of the vehicle's warranty. Over the counter, you're still getting a one year warranty, which is phenomenal, right? It's because of the testing that we do on our products that we can offer such a great warranty for our customers. And I have 49 state compliance. So if you're running in the US within 
in Southern California, um, you know, we have your back. And we do have carb compliance on select products uh, within the portfolio. And then the last one I'll cover is just going to be performance, right? We're performance junkies. We all have Harleys. We all have, you know, muscle cars and classic Chevys, right? So we have performance products, both Harleys and outside of this. And we want to make sure that these specific products produce numbers, right? But not just peak numbers. They have to be rideable performance numbers. That's critical. You're gonna ride the 135 today. It's an absolute blast. But think about just the overall riding experience. Um, just how linear that power is, how smooth it is. Kudos to Joe on that one. It's a phenomenal riding experience. Um, you're gonna absolutely love it. Sold. <laughs> 135 kits and crate engine feature the pump in it. The 131s do not. <coughs> Thank you. <coughs> and that's because of the testing, just the requirements of that 135. Yeah. We need that new cam plate. 131, we're not going to throw it in the kit if you don't need it, right? It's sold as a builder component. A lot of these will be sold as builder components where if you know what you're doing, you can piecemeal it together. But again, you know, we know what we're doing. We have the testing to support it. So this is how we kind of package it to the customers. So that comes in the 135? That yes. will come in the kit and the crate engine, yes. Yeah, so we sell a 131 kit. Um, so different piston for the four and a half inch stroke to take a 117 to 131. Mm -hmm. We also sell a granite gray or a granite black mm -hmm. um, 135 kit for the CBO customers with a different uh, piston that works with the four and five eighths stroke. And then you can buy the all out crate engine in either granite gray or black with the different color covers. So we have four crate engines. Yep. Right? And those are factory assembled right up the road and uh yep and right out down the line is the production engine so it goes through every quality check that a production engine so the 135 kit will work on a 117. Stock no. 131. No. 131 131 because of the stroke change yeah. between the two yeah it's been exciting since the beginning being able to to push the limit and see what we're really capable of i know you know listening to the conversation on the clutch spring i think everybody would be surprised what springs we actually run in the race bike it's a it's a very capable base package that we have in oe and the screaming eagle products now and it's directly influenced by these guys every single weekend we're learning more um and pushing us to the limit plug for the video series if you haven't seen it, but it's, uh, <laughs> it's a lot of fun to, uh, to realize every weekend that you're, you're never as smart as you think you are and we, we learn every, every single time we hit the racetrack. Yeah, and I mean, we use a OEM clutch on the race bike, so the 135 should be just fine. <laughs> um, I w we still don't publish numbers of the, the race bike, but uh, it's, it's a lot and a lot. So, um, yeah, it's, it's really cool to just see how, how quickly racing can influence product development. I think, uh, you know, with the CVOST as a, as a product offering, but, you know, obviously in the, in the performance P and a space, it's, it's what we learn. We learn in, you know, 10% of the time, like if we're going to, if we're going to break it, we're going to break it on the racetrack, you know? So, you know, all these learnings we, we bring back here to the PDC over the last four years now is, uh, yeah, it's really cool to see products come out in such a short amount of time with the reliability that they have. So we've just pretty much wrapped everything in this part of the uh, the tour. Um, this might be its own video. I'm not sure. Uh, there was a lot of information. 
I hope you guys have enjoyed. That was a lot of information uh, for those of you guys who want to know more about the stage ones, uh, stage four, um, and especially the new 131, 135 kits. That was a lot of stuff. So hopefully you guys learned a few things. We got to learn a lot about the Rock for Files gate system as well. We just couldn't input all the music in there because YouTube and copyright and stuff. Um, but yeah, the next step right now is that we're going to be going outside and then we're actually going to be riding some bikes with the 135 on it and the 131, I believe, and get the real feel. So that might be in this video and if not then wait for that video that might be coming up next okay also i think i'm gonna be starting to use this microphone for my videos going forward because it sounds awesome or maybe just might be the room in here right so your tap show everybody your new tap ooh, ooh. Yeah. First, it's the first one man block she got your tap bro <laughs> because you're not using the blockhead moto quick detailer block here moto quick detailer. give that a try what? What is that? It's like water. <laughs> <laughs> and it, uh... Oh my god. It smells like coconuts. <laughs> <laughs> With our ceramic infused technology, it's sure to keep those bugs off that beautiful fairing of yours. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh man, now it's a bike. <laughs> <laughs> now this is cool, for real, man. <laughs> All right, so lunchtime right now, and then we're gonna be heading up, which was a nice little surprise. We're gonna be going to Juno Ave to get another exclusive little tour. That's gonna be fun. I mean, my first time going up there, I've always wanted to visit that uh, that place. Juno. Inside. Yeah, we're going inside, right? Yeah, that's a cool thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's a museum for some reason. I'm never Juno. No, Juno. That's all I'm saying. There's a lot coming from you, man. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. Just one thing wrong with it. You should have brought audio. No, the pipe. I know. Th th this guy's gonna be <laughs> death to me. I t I told him because this here's the thing. I just got that pipe literally. So I told him, guys. I'm also recording you saying this because I know you want my yeah. Uh, I I know you want me to get your pipe. Right. Pause. <laughs> Uh, no, it's weird. So, <laughs> so I told him, I like, listen, we're gonna put your pipe. Give me a few months. Let me rock out with this, and then we're gonna be putting the blockhead exhaust on here. So, surprise, spoil to you guys, but we're gonna be putting that on later on in a few months. Almost got to. Boom. Just like I need some of your gloves. I didn't send you my gloves yet. Where's my gloves? I gotta, <laughs> Matt. We gotta send him his gloves. I'll send them to you this week. Alright guys, so we are all on the bikes and we're going to be heading to Juno, the birthplace of Harley Davidson with literally everything happened. The ideas, the first bikes rolling off the assembly line, the birth of Harley Davidson. I've always wanted to go in that building. We're going to be getting a uh, nice secret tour today. Should be pretty cool. Um, yeah man, I'm, I'm super excited man. Super excited for this. This whole experience today has been amazing. Being at the PDC, great. Not everybody gets to go in there. Literally, nobody gets to go in there. Um, not going to Juno. It's it's awesome being around the Harley team. I mean, they, these guys, these guys are it, man. Like they live and breathe Harley Davidson. You know, they're not like these other people that run these companies and are not really into what they're selling like these people all ride and they all live in, within the culture and i think it says a lot about the company itself man it's it's driven and it's pushed by actual riders and what else can you ask for from a company man an american company an american company has been around for 121 years it's crazy not every day you get to hear that either man not every day but anyways, we're going to be uh, enjoying this nice little short ride over to Juno Ave. Um, nice weather today. It's getting pretty warm now. Um, but nice weather. <laughs> we had a funny joke this morning. They were like, uh, I think Jesus rides a Harley Davidson because he's blessed us with great weather this weekend. 
And I'm like, yes, that is so right. Jesus Christ. All right, here we go. Harley Davidson Park at Juno Ave. How cool is this? You bring your bike, watch a show. Park your bike and watch a show. That's awesome. I was like, are we I'm like, over. You beat him and then you were able to make it. Yeah. Inside the engine. Nice. Matt, is this like always going to be a thing? Like you could park your bike here to enjoy the show? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's awesome. That is so cool. On all levels, right? Down here for, were you here yesterday for the... I wasn't, no. Oh, yeah, so this was whole, all full of bikes. Wow. So, yeah, it's meant that way. So you have all these pads. They're all for bikes. That's beautiful. Yeah. It's awesome. Look at this. This is the uh, Davidson Park. All brand new. They were uh, constructing this for a while. Um, but, yeah, you have events going on here and everything. And... Yeah, Juno Ave right here in the background. Beautiful place. I mean, uh, when Willie G joined the company, you know, everything was here. So, like, they had the design cut in the design cave. So everything was designed here, engineered here, and then and then built here. And then eventually, obviously, they opened up a we opened up a couple different factories, um, and you know, started producing. You know, obviously, powertrain operations, York factory. Um, and now it's uh, what we like to affectionately call being in the bricks. In so the bricks. you guys get to be in the bricks today. Yes. So it's cool. So this is the original Harley Davidson factory. Yeah, dude. Well, I'm sure, like, as part of the tour, we'll get to see some photos from the early 1900s when they were building it. Wow. Um, this is the yeah the original building. Um, the shed, the original shed that the Davidsons and uh, Harley started in, was like a couple blocks that way. Wow. And then so then they bought this property and built the uh you know built one part of it first and then the second part of it is the expanded wow so it's cool. really cool it's there's you know it's it's a, it's a cool you? place to be i mean this is you know there's so much motorcycle history here of course um, i mean this is this is it this is it the wow. mecca it is the mecca yeah last time i was here was because this right here is a complete replica of what the OG shed was. And a couple of this. Is. And our legacy would not have been able to continue without our AMF partnership. They brought important capital investments. A number of the leaders in the photo here started their career with AMF and decided to make the trip over to Harley Davidson that continued for several decades after to lead our company. And we have the York assembly plant that we still have to there you go that's the uh original entrance to the building now the last motorcycle that would have been dreamed of in the space would have been the v-rod there was a clay model of the v-rod which the clay model actually still exists at the museum today that clay model was in the back corner here and a total of five people in the entire company would have had access to get into the space to see the V-Rod. So how great is it? Here we are several years later where Willie has brought so many bikes to life here, including the V-Rod before he departed for the product development center happened right here in this space. And if you haven't read Willie's book that he uh, released last year, I highly encourage you to read it. He talks a lot about this space and like bringing Louis on. Louis was his second in command. Him and Louis Nets designed so many. You know, they they basically started Harley Davidson styling. So that section of the book is super fascinating because he talks about this space and how they how they built it from the ground up. Absolutely. Thank you. Yeah. Yep. And for those, I, I did picture pick this picture on purpose. We have a little uh, ball and chain on Willie's bike here. And why why did I pick that? Because. Willie is a funny guy. Like he's got a, he's got such a great positive attitude, and he's a little bit of a jokester. And again, as we look at that, and we always see Willie with a big smile on his face. 
Uh, here's a great photo to show, hey, when here at the motor company, we certainly work hard, but motorcycling, uh, fun is at the center of what we do, so we have fun here while we're at work as well. You enjoying the show? <laughs> First of all, 90 miles per gallon, 550 weekly. You can have, what is this? A 125 Harley Davidson. Now I want a uh, sign painter's review of this painting sign. Layout's re really nice. 550 a week. How much you guys paying for your butts now? Happening, so it's been a long time. Nice <laughs> if I can get you, <laughs> sir, if I can get you down to 550 a week, would you yeah. take delivery I of the think motorcycle? You would be the most shrewd negotiator <laughs> out there if you were able to do that. If I can get you 550 a week, would you take the motorcycle? I will. Well, we have another one. Right? Now this one's already sold. But I have another one on the back lot. <laughs> that one's gonna run you. <laughs> Six twenty-five. <laughs> All right, so that was uh that was an amazing experience to go into Juno Ave. Really, really cool. Oh, look who it is! It's my friend Blackhead. Blackhead Moto. Guys, if you are around the area and you want to do a tour, I would highly recommend it. They do tours for the public, so you go check it out. Um, a lot of history in that building. Uh, I didn't catch everything on film. I didn't know if you guys want to see all that. It was like, you know, a lot of talking and stuff. But you basically take a tour of the whole factory of all floors and they, ex and they show you exactly where they did what and who did what. But a lot of history, a lot of information. And this show is really cool. If you are a Harley Davidson fan, I would highly encourage anyone to come uh, do that tour. Anyways, I'm gonna keep enjoying the rest of my day. I'm heading back to the hotel right now. I gotta go pick the wife up. She flew in this morning. And uh, yeah, probably go pick her up and head over to the museum. Cause I went last year and I totally fell in love with it and I wanna do it again. So, probably hang out there for a few. Then tonight we're gonna go have dinner. Probably be uh, me, Block, Her Two Wheels, and a few others and see where the night takes us. Cheese curds. First time I tried them last year with this guy. Pretty good. What's dancing? I, I usually don't walk into other restaurants with, you know, carry my own food, but if you want to get the do, employees happy. Share with the staff. Oh, what is that? I oh know. But I'm not. The totally. world is a sample. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there you go. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you do it. Yeah. Now everybody's oh, happy. I, I like them better than ours. Oh. Are you going to make it onto the vlog finally or no? What? Are you going to make it onto the vlog? Like finally or no? I gotta ask because she's like, no, 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 no camera. Well, I think it's time. She's here. She's, yeah. She's in our room now, so. I think it's time you guys <laughs> catch up on with Mrs. Marvel for the first time ever. It's only right because Jess is here. Jess, what the hell? I almost choked. I'm so sorry. I did. Yes, we've been having wonderful business conversations in here. Good. That's the wife. Hi. Hi. She's my favorite. Like and subscribe. <laughs> That's right, subscribe to my channel. <laughs> mine too. Yours and mine. Let's okay. do both of them. Yeah. This, 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 this is what we're doing now. Uh, Justin, edit this in. <laughs> I'm doing the intro now. Uh, we just left the museum at Veterans Park and uh, heard two wheels again leading us to the wrong way. The wrong way. But um, yeah, we, we still made it though. We made it. I made it. We made it. And, I don't know what you're about. and this is what we're doing now. <laughs> Justin, how cool is this? Now kiss. <laughs> now kiss. <laughs> Yo, and look back. That looks insane. Let's do Harley Davidson karaoke and then we'll be ready.